everyone. Welcome to Hub & Spoke, a storytelling platform produced by the J. Hurt Hub for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Davidson College. Through these conversations, we hope to inspire and connect the next generation of innovators and entrepreneurs leading lives of leadership and service. coming back and joining us on the, the hot seat round. Um, before, or as we start, I'd love to hear a little bit about your journey from our Davidson to today, which you just graduated uh, yeah. last May. So tell us about that. Yeah, I started working at Summit in, um, after my freshman year, so the beginning of my sophomore year, I was actually traveling to Jordan for, and I'm Arab Studies and Political Science, and I um, traveled to Jordan after my freshman year, um, and I remember Andrew and Dora actually interviewing me while I was abroad, um, and I started right at the beginning of my sophomore year as a barista, um, worked there for two years, I guess, until I was asked to be student manager of the on-campus location, um, and did that for about a semester, and a, like, yeah, semester and a half, um, during my senior year, and then I was asked to be, I, they wanted me to stay at Summit, so <laughs> they asked me to be manager here, um, or at least, like, continue my journey with Summit, whatever that may be. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I... Um, quick pipeline right from sophomore year to here. I just graduated and I've been here for like three, four months now and um, it's great, but yeah. What initially attracted you to work at Summit and then what's kept you after school? Yeah, I actually um, was thinking about transferring from Davidson to Chapel Hill. Um, my freshman year I didn't really feel like Davidson was the place for me um, and so I was basically like, okay, I'll give it another semester, and then I'll transfer if I feel like I still don't fit in here, basically, and I feel like Summit kind of provided me with the community that I was missing, um, so I kind of really accredit Summit for being the reason I stayed in Davidson, and now I'm still here after all that time. So. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the, that community that you were looking for. Yeah, I, um, just, like, feeling kind of like there was a space for me on campus. Not that I didn't, like, have friends or, like, have the clubs that I joined, but, like, have a specific purpose in my, like, day-to-day -day at Davidson. And, like, being at Summit, um, kind of gave me the opportunities to, like, fulfill that purpose. Um, and it's changed over the past couple of years, but, um, I feel like Summit's, like, purpose of like wanting to help the community like really makes me feel like I have things to give and so like knowing that my like very specific job here like affects a lot of people and can affect a lot of people I think really like that works with me and I think it's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, define for me kind of innovation in your day to day. So the Hurt Hub we're all about innovation and entrepreneurship. <laughs> that was about you know, you were talking about on a day to day, you get right. all sorts of things thrown at you. How do you innovate? Yeah, I think for a manager specifically, there's lots of innovation because um, because there's it, you can't really have a job description, a specific job description for a manager. I think it varies depending on the location that you're in and like what problems you face on a day to day basis. I like have learned more about how to fix broken things here than I ever would have thought I needed to know. Um, and just like, basically like I have a problem and I, no one else is gonna fix it for me. So that requires a lot of collaboration and kind of coming up with solutions on a whim. Um, and so I feel like that is innovation to me is like being able to tackle problems that I might have not like even thought I would tackle and like what how I can like fix something or like what ways can I face this problem come up with a solution and it varies depending on the day so I mean like our dishwasher could be broken I would have to like figure out that um or a schedule issue with someone and that is me like talking to them one-on-one -on -one, and then talking to someone else like about how we can 
make things as a whole better for our whole team. So, yeah. That's great. Um, I'm curious too about the things that you're most excited about with this summit. Obviously, lots of growth in the past couple of years and continuing in that way with the opening phase of things. What, what did you most excited about? I am most excited in the morning to basically. I think I never get bored at my job, which I really like. Um, I'm the type of person that likes doing things and like figuring out solutions to problems, and I feel like I'm never bored here when I'm at like my job. And I feel like what excites me the most is like not knowing what I'm gonna do next. Like I currently am managing this cafe, but. Um, I, I think there are many opportunities with Summit because it's such a small company that is growing in many different ways. I feel like I have lots of like lots to contribute to the company because there's so many more things to explore with it. That's great. And what are some things that might just seem scared to grab? I think as a person who just graduated, I like have have no idea what to do with my life. <laughs> so like I think it excites, excites me and scares me at the same time of like how how are my decisions, everyday decisions and like career decisions going to affect my life, um, but like it could go in any direction. So I think that's like exciting but also very scary is like, like oh god, how is this going to like affect my career? Yeah. What's something that people hear people get wrong about me. <laughs> Brian told me about this question. Um, I feel that, I guess my answer was before is that people don't think I'm necessarily approachable sometimes because <laughs> they see like, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm not like, I don't stand out as much as like someone else. I don't know. So people assume that I'm mean maybe or intimidating. Okay. I, I do have very like demeanor that's very like do this, do this, do this, very like blunt and forward. Uh -huh. uh, so I guess people think that comes across as mean sometimes. <laughs> but it's, they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm actually not. I'm pretty like nerdy, I think. <laughs> um, so I guess that's something people get wrong about me. Okay. Uh, and we'll end on, on this question. You know, at the Her Hub, we're really about community building. Mm -hmm. That seems to align with a lot of what we're trying to do yeah. at Summit. We exist in this the confluence of campus and community and how those things come together. Yeah. I'm curious what advice or challenge you might give to Davidson students to think about existing in this community or how they might push the boundaries of their thinking um, to, to find you know, the community that fits them. Yeah, I think something that challenges Davidson students is, I mean, as like just being a Davidson student, is like wanting to do something that like changes the world and like they have to go out and do some big thing to affect something when and actually like I every day like am doing something that is affecting what's around me and I think that's very important and I don't, I like, I guess I challenge like Davidson students to think kind of not necessarily in some significant way but instead just like take things as they come and realize that like your decisions are affecting others like every day. Mm. That's great. Thanks for being with us yeah, here. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thank, thank you. you.